Hello everybody and welcome to DIY Hair School where I teach you how to do your own hair. My name is Jillian and today we are going to learn how to use a bobby pin. The fact that you might not be using a bobby pin the right way might be something you don't even realize. A lot of people don't realize that they're not using bobby pins correctly. But if you put your bobby pins in and you're finding that throughout the day they are popping out of your hair, pushing their way back out of the style, just sticking out in general, then you're probably not using them right. So let's run down. It's pretty simple, but if you don't know, you don't know. So with a bobby pin, you have got your bumpy side, and you have got your straight side. Ideally, if you can, you want the bumpy side against your head. This is just gonna help create a little bit of extra traction to not have it slide back out. If you're putting it into like an updo that's more three-dimensional, it's not gonna be as important, but if you're putting it against your head in some way, then trying to get the bumpy side towards your head is your best bet. But don't freak out because that's not the most important thing. So if you end up with the flat side down, as long as you do everything else right, it'll probably still work really well. So the other thing is you can see that a bobby pin is tightly closed. It is not opened at all unless it has been stretched in some way. You've got this little opening here. But other than that, the bobby pin is completely closed. And it wants to stay that way. There's a lot of pressure happening to keep this bobby pin closed. So if you put it in your hair opened like this, you're now creating a lot of counter pressure and it is going to want to push itself away. And that's gonna be why it starts to pop out of your hair because it wants to be closed. So you need to put it in your hair closed, not open. So let's try it. It's gonna create like a little twist that we can pin and everyone does this. You open your bobby pin and they would take it and shove it in like this. And that is incorrect because if you do that, you're going to fill it with a ton of hair and it's going to go unopened and then that's just going to be too much and it's going to push its way back up. So instead what you're going to do is use these little guys here to pick up a little hair and push it in closed. And you can see it holds really well. It does its job. That's how it's meant to go. This will probably mean you need to use a couple more bobby pins than you're used to because the one bobby pin's not grasping as much hair. But if you do it right, it'll be more secure than a bobby pin that has been pushed in wide open. It's also a great tip to pick bobby pins that match your hair, like this one I have used, which is the lightest blonde type of bobby pin that you can find. Because that way, if your bobby pin is peeking out at all, if I used a black one in my hair, it'd be very obvious. Picking one that matches your hair is going to make your life a lot easier. If you guys have any questions about bobby pins or anything else hair related, leave me a comment. I will make another video helping you out. And I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you will now know how to use bobby pins the correct way. Thank you so much for watching. Check me out on Instagram and on TikTok for more video content. Subscribe and like this video because you don't want to miss any more of my tutorials. Thank you so much for being here today, guys.